Hello, welcome back to the Chaos House. Let me reset this so it will slowly spin. I don't know why I like that so much, but I do. Anyway, we've got everybody on the list. And let's see who we're going to be playing with today. It looks like it's going to be Corey. I was kind of hoping it would be Roy. We've never played with Roy before, and he just became a teenager. So, Corey we have played with, and the last time that we played with him, he had to find the first elder that he could and let them in the house. And our elder just happened to have a newborn baby. So we ended up with a baby as well. So now let's see what Corey has to do today. Oh, it's roll a percent wheel and add to our money. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Here is our percent wheel. So let's see what percent we get to add to our money. <gasps> nice. It's in the 80s. 85%. Okay, great. I'll meet you at the house. All right. So their money, they have $13,815. And 85% of that is $11,742. So we're going to add that. And now they have $25,000, which is really nice. The other part about this is that our guy is at work until 3 p.m., and then he is so about to pass out that I feel like I don't know what to do after that. Now, I know that these chickens are technically Fernanda's that she's supposed to be taking care of. However, if they need to be fed, oh my gosh, speaking of, Valerie is freezing to death and I can't do anything. Valerie, please stop and get off the... Oh, there she goes. Okay. Kids can't die in this game, right? Can they? Annabeth is supposed to be going to work. Valerie is freezing to death. Brian is at home. Are you sure he should miss work? No, he should not miss work. Okay, twice it said Valerie needs warm clothes. So hopefully she'll get in the house. The only thing I am doing, though, is checking Enzo. And he is fine. I mean, he's real stinky. And so Corey can try to handle him when he gets home. But until then, I can't really do anything with him. Oh my gosh, Valerie, why do you keep doing that? Okay. Okay, he is cold, and I can control Enzo at least. I'm going to tell him to come inside and just sit here. And then we'll see what he does after that. Valerie, why do you keep going out there? Look at Annabeth at work. Or not at work, but I think she's going to work. Yeah, on her way to work. Oh my gosh, I think Valerie is dying. Yes, Valerie is dying. Oh my gosh. Valerie, why did you keep coming out here and freezing in the pool? I don't understand. Oh my gosh. And nobody is here right now except for Brian, who is supposed to be at work and not going to work. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we lost one of our mermaid triplets. Oh my gosh. It said Valerie lost her tooth. Okay. This whole thing is awful. I'm going to move her over here. We have lost a teenager and now a child in addition to the elders who have died in our house. Well, wow. Okay. That does mean that I'm at nine people again, which means I've got to add a tenth person to our list. Enzo just got movement level three because he's just going in and out of the house apparently. I kind of wish Brian would have gone to work because then Enzo would go to daycare. But that's not what happened, so. Okay. We do have to get another person in the house because we have to have 10 people. I'm very sad about all this. And there's snow everywhere. Okay, but our chickens have food out here. We have more money. Maybe we could just adopt a child and just replace, since we lost a child, we could adopt a child. Corey is home. Great. As soon as all the children got home from school, too. Oh, my gosh. And it's almost their birthday. No, tomorrow is baby boy's birthday. So, tomorrow, Enzo will grow up. And then the next day, let me just do birthdays, please. The next day, okay, we have four birthdays. And then just one birthday now. Why do we have our ghost in here? Our ghost Valerie is showing up over here, but she is not in our house, and we will not be having her birthday. 
Okay, the first thing Corey has to do is definitely go to sleep. Enzo really needs to potty. Oh, he's doing that on his own. Also, who bathed him? And I missed that. I guess it was Brian. Nobody else is here that could have bathed him. Okay, so we're actually just going to send Corey straight up to bed. Oh my gosh, Holden. Please don't die. Oh, Corey can call Holden over though this time. Or he can ask to see their cold clothes. Let's do that. Let's, um, okay, he's going to ask to see their outfits. Maybe this will work. Come on, are you going to do it, Corey, or what? Please ask this child. I cannot lose all my children in this episode. Do, why are you saluting him? Just say. Okay, that's it. I. It does say cold weather, but I'm just going to change them into their cold weather outfit. I'm not losing him because he decided to sit here and salute instead of doing what I told him to do. Now he's saluting her. You're ridiculous, Corey. Get up here and go to sleep. Enzo is actually doing fantastic now. He does want some attention, but... Okay, what are you talking about now? Oh my gosh, get yourself in the house before you start freezing to death. I wonder how many people I'm going to lose over this winter season. Okay, Brian is in here dancing. Dancing level two. Okay, I just need you to get a little bit of sleep because your fitness skill is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, Crystal, your daughter just died. You cannot. Oh, also, when you're angry, do a workout. Crystal has discovered that, that Roy is an alien. Crystal, you've been here since Roy was born. Where is Crystal? Okay. Let's, Roy, oh gosh, I did the wrong thing. Crystal. Okay, we're going to have to call her over. Nope, we're going to have to come down here and uh, tell her. Uh, it's by, it's in Small Talk, by the way. So if you go to Small Talk, you can ask to see outfit, cold weather. That's what we want. So I'm sorry, you have to wake up. I can't have Crystal die. Oh, Annabeth got a promotion. Okay, Crystal's already changed clothes. Wonderful. So get back up here and go back to sleep for just a little bit. He needs to have fun, but he also needs to um, to get fitness up. And I don't know what we do here in the house. We have money. Maybe we put a workout machine here in the house. Oh, he passed out before he made it to bed. I'm sorry. Go to bed. Look at that. Crystal brought the baby up here and put him in the bed. Whoops. There we go. Sweet boy. Okay, well, I'm more worried about us. It's almost Corey's birthday. Well, I know, but he's... And it's Brian. I'm going to get that about everybody, I guess, since it's almost everybody's birthday. All right, you're going to have to come down here and get some leftovers. And then what can he do for fun? He clearly can't go swim. Okay, that's going to have to be enough sleep. It's almost Alden's birthday. He can swing on the swing set, right? Can he? Okay, let's see if that's fun after he eats. I wish that would also give him um, athletic skill or whatever it's called. But we're going to have him do a workout, a sculpting video after that. Let's see if the sculpting video is fun. And then if it's not fun, he can. Oh my gosh. One of these children just went and got in the water. All right, he just got fitness level three. Maybe if she's swimming the whole time, she's not going to freeze because she's moving. Um, she just reached motor, motor level five. Okay, I know you're disgusting. That's fine. And you're also super tired. So here's what we do. Let's go upstairs. Nobody's in this one. So take a shower. Let's go ahead and step on this while we're here. And then you can get in the bed. Oh, she's freezing to death. Um, well, you can't do any of that stuff. I actually need you to come down here and call her over. Um, oh, no, not that. Okay, we have to do the same thing that we did before, where we tell her that we would like to see her cold weather outfit. So, let's go. Okay, she put her cold weather outfit on, and then she changed back into her swimwear. Please don't do that. Come on. Corey. Oh, my gosh. Corey's like, hey, can I see your... There we go. Okay, she put her cold weather outfit on. Now, Corey, since you've been a weirdo and put your swimsuit on, please get up here and go to sleep. Let's see what she's going to do. Fernanda, I mean, yeah, Fernanda, I need you to just get in the house. Now, Corey is freezing to death. 
Oh my gosh. This is going to be absolute nightmare winter. Okay, nobody is freezing at this moment. I can't believe that it's already 3 o'clock in the morning and um, he still has not had like a good restful night's sleep. He did get one more level of his fitness. So maybe every time I play Corey, I can help him get one level of fitness each time and that's all I'm going to be able to do. So he's cold again. I don't know if we even have a thermostat. Look at Bria in here just dancing, ghost Bria. I don't know if there's a thermostat in this house, but clearly we need it on warmer than it is. I just need you to keep doing this workout. Oh, he's feeling playful now. Okay, good. Okay, that was nice. He liked it. Um, Use the bathroom and whatever this one is. We don't know what it's going to do. Bria, I need you to get out of the bathroom, please. Can y'all all get out of the bathroom so Corey can go? Oh, this is the watch. This one he watches. I mean, his fun came all the way up. Okay, so I'm going to send him back up here to go to sleep. Does he have work? Yes, he does. All right. Well, I mean, we didn't have to accomplish anything with him today, and I'm really happy because we did not. All right, he's got to go to work in an hour. That's why he always goes to work before we switch. Why is he glowing blue? Also, is he crying? Oh, is he sad so he's glowing blue? I do not understand. He is sad about her dying. She's sad. He's sad. Mom's sad. The rest of the people do not seem to care. Corey has not thought about her at all. All right, you have to get up and go to work, Corey. And then we're ending this one in like 20 minutes. Look at little baby boy. Tell me he can go down the stairs by himself. I hope he can. Oh, he went in there and asked her for a bath. Boy, your hygiene is not even low. He woke this woman up to ask her for a bath. Okay, there we are at 7.45. Corey has gone to work and everybody else is in the house. I cannot believe we lost somebody today. So, we got to get a new character. And I still think that we should probably adopt somebody. So, we'll wait and see. I want to hear um, what you guys think about it. I'm going to film this, film the next one before this comes out. So, I'll probably just go ask over on Discord and see what people think about it. But, um, yeah. Okay. That's going to do it then for this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.